with me, Mikey Pipes. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to share with you a little clip that one of the subscribers sent to me. They did a little compilation. It's very, very nice. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Me, Mikey Pipes. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Pipes, me, Mikey Pipes, me, Mikey Pipes, it's me, Mikey Pipes, it's me, it's me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, on my way to my next service call, which is in Oceanside, customer has a peerless, uh, I think a pure fire, one of the, uh, yeah, PF something one of those high efficiency systems um 90 plus percent multiple zones multiple radiance we've been in this house many times got an indirect water heater nonetheless they are running out of hot water the homeowner's complaint after 15 minutes there's no mas caliente agua no mas caliente agua you see mikey pipes is even teaching you espanol so you can say, se habla espanol. When you meet like a hot chick, right? If you meet a hot chick and she speaks Spanish, I'm gonna give you a little tidbit. This works for me and I mean, your mileage may vary, so this may not work for you. But you see a hot Spanish chick, you go, que quieres hacer esta noche? Que quieres hacer esta noche? Which basically translates, what do you want to do tonight? And go from there. And she'd be like, oye, papi, se habla espanol? And you go, si, un poquito, un poquito. All right, guys, let's get going. Time, timer flash, seven times, ET system. You ain't testing, you're guessing. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Uh, someone called for running out of hot water. Yes. How long has this been going on for? Uh, a bit of time. How long is a bit of time? A couple months, maybe. Consistently happen? Uh, yeah, like after probably one shower, the next shower is like really? the temperature. How long is the shower? Maybe like 15 minutes, 10 minutes. Really? Not even that long, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go downstairs and Yeah, like this morning I took a shower and it got like, you know, cold after. This is the basement, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's not a stupid door. It's, it's a nice. funny door. Yeah. Okay. So this morning you took a shower, 15 minutes, and that was it. Yeah, yeah. And it got, uh, you know, not freezing, but like. But it was cool. It was cool. Like not, you know, not warm. Alright, let's see. <clears throat> Switch in here. Is there a switch outside the room? Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Here's the tank. Mixing valve. Looks like it's seen better days. Definitely seen better days. All right. So domestic. Thermostatic expansion mixing valve, sorry, thermostatic mixing valve. TMV has already been replaced and a leak is originating from up there. And there's also some pinhole leaks on that check valve. One inch. Pinhole leaks on everything. Not that hot. We're not recovering. We're hot here. Not so hot there. Circulator. A circulator for 
the indirect is not on. All right, there is no indicator light there. And we don't have power to the circulator. Getting hot there. It's just lukewarm. There's no power to the circulator. See? No power. Let's follow this pipe in here. This is a supply. Splits here. Circulator's on the return. So this becomes our primary loop. And those are our closely spaced T's. That's system circulator. The system circulator is running, it's hot, but then again, this is also hot, but we have no power there. Let's see what we see inside here. CDHW call. Call for help, maybe. <laughs> Let's see what we see in here. I did not expect that. What's going on here? So much rust. All right, domestic hot water pump. No. CH pump. Sensors. But there's a lot going on in here. All right, I did a power cycle. Now the light is on. Power cycle. Now it's on. Let's see what happens. That's hot now. That's hot, that's cool, that's still hot. We have some kind of control issue here. Let's go to menu. Let's go to status. And let's see if there's anything different. Oh, it still says <clears throat> call. Outdoor temperature, I think it's negative 40. Domestic hot, I didn't know if I checked domestic hot water circulator before. Hmm. One observation, this is not the Aquastat. Oh, that's set too low. This is not the Aquastat that came with the, the uh, SL50. Indirect. Hmm. Definitely something electrically related here. Circulator is not the issue. <clears throat> the wiring on is not the issue. Let's see what happens if I lower this. Right. See, so it still says call. See, this is the old power R and C, giving it 24 volts. This was replaced before. What's in your veto? Let's see if we disconnect one of the wires. Will something change here? Oh. 
interesting. See? No pole, but my domestic hot water circulator is still on some kind of control issue here. All right, a couple seconds later, my domestic hot water circulator turned off. Interesting. Let's put this back on there. Okay. That's a couple of circulator on. We have a call. Hmm. All right. Let's review. Behind this control, you saw the relay board. The relay board gets a signal from this control module. And as you can see, we have some corrosion there. This is power going in. originated from the leak that was up there at one point. Looks like it's been fixed, but came down here. They also asked me to check, make sure there was no leaks. Oh, and there's a grommet on the, I don't know if you see it right there, the flu stack sensor. So we're good there, but for now, we're gonna jack up this temperature to, Hundred and let's make that hundred and seventy-five. All right, right there. A little bit of vibration there. Maybe we should do something with that thermostatic mixing valve. As you can see, it's been replaced once before and fixed that leak. So maybe we'll get the Webstone and press fix all this. All right, this is obviously not accurate. If that was 225 degrees, my hand would not be on it. All right, we could change that easily. Expansion tank is full, but no discharge, so we're good with that. I'll give them a price for this control, which also includes this display module. Uh, the peerless representative doesn't believe that the relay board in the back uh, is suspect. And I took it off and looked at the back and we're fine. We're good, we're clean. And just one quick observation. As you can see, the behind the clear plastic of the relay has that little smoky burnt appearance, right? That one looks brand new. According to Peerless, not a cause to replace it. This is normal operation and no need to replace that control board. All right, let me get your thoughts and feedback. You know, you have the, that little charring action, the little burning action with the smoke inside the little plastic relays. You know what, the manufacturer, the you know, tech support department is telling me it's normal. Just because you see that, there's no need to change it out. I'm like, listen, it's a, it's a, little, it's a sealed module. If you got you know, some little charring action or smoke, you know, smoky discoloration to the control, you got something going on there. You know, I, it's just my opinion. But again, what, you know, what, what is it? What is, I'm not pointing any figures, but you know, let's say it's Christmas day and that zone relay panel decides to no longer function and like, oh, well, you know what? It's, it's bad, time for it to be replaced. I'm just saying, let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. Obviously with this boiler, the external leak above the boiler caused secondary water damage and it took quite some time for it actually to come to fruition here with this particular system, you know, literally years. Years, we first documented the leak years ago. We replaced the internal blower motor, we replaced the wiring harness, uh, a few other things have been done and 
Now it looks like we'll be replacing that black control at the kick plate panel on the bottom of the, of the purifier and it comes with the display module. So big bucks, not cheap. It is what it is. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you found this video educational and informative, uh, let me get your let me get your let me get your feedback down in the comment section down below. I don't create these videos, you know, for my health. I do it, you know, to so we can all learn from one another. So, in case you come across this type of boiler where you have, you know, the circulator is not getting any power, even though the control is saying it's getting power, you know, use your eyes, look around, and see the obvious. In this particular case, Peerless, the tech support rep told me to clean off the terminals with some alcohol and some canned air, which we did. I didn't have any Grey Goose. I took some Stoli Elite instead uh, in lieu of rubbing alcohol. <laughs> See, it made you laugh. I'm also entertaining, and I teach you Spanish. So, bonos dias. Bonos dias. All right. I'll catch you on the next one. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.